Introduction Have you seen how the news channels report the maximum and minimum temperatures of a particular place on a particular day? 34.3 degrees Celsius, 21.2 degrees Celsius. When you go for your regular checkup, does your doctor check your body temperature and report it as 98.4 degrees Fahrenheit? The dots you see in these figures are known as decimals and these figures are known as decimal numbers. In this lesson, let us look at decimal numbers in great detail. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to understand decimal, relate fraction and decimal, represent decimal on number line, compare two decimals. Let us understand the concept of decimal using fractions with denominator 10. Consider the fraction bars. In the first bar, only one out of the ten blocks has checks. In the second bar, only two out of the ten blocks have weights. Similarly, in the third bar, five out of the ten blocks have stripes. In all these cases, we express the share of the patterned blocks to the total blocks as a fraction with denominator ten. Such fractions are called tens. Thus, while one part is one-tenth, two parts show two-tenths, and five parts represent five-tenths. One-tenth can be written as 0 0.1 in decimal notation, two-tenth as 0 0.2, and five-tenth as 0 0.5. Let us now learn to read and write decimals. Consider the example 40 plus 2 plus 1 10. You know that 40 plus 2 is 42. Adding 1 10 to it will make it 42.1. Consider another example. 30 plus 3 plus 2 tenths will be 33.2. 50 plus 9 plus 5 tenths will be 59.5. Let us read these numbers from the table. Four tenths and two ones and one one tenth make 42.1. Three tenths and three ones and two tenths make 33.2. Similarly, five tenths and nine ones and five tenths make 59.5. Now we will learn to represent decimals on number line. We will learn this through an example of representing 0 0.6 on number line. First draw a number line. Mark the 0 and 1 points on it. Divide the length between 0 and 1 into 10 equal parts. Each part is called 1 10. We know that 0 0.6 is more than 0 and less than 1. And there are six one tenths in it. So count six parts from zero and mark it. Similarly, we can represent 2.7 by counting two ones and seven one tenths. We know that a fraction with denominator 10 can be represented using decimals. Now let us learn to convert fractions with denominator 2 or 5 into decimals. Take the example of 12 upon 5. First, convert the denominator of the fraction into 10 in order to know how many tenths are involved. To know the number of tenths, multiply and divide the given fraction by 2. This gives the new fraction 24 upon 10. So we have 2 ones and 4 tenths, or 2 ones and 0 0.4, which makes it 2.4. Consider another example. Convert 3 upon 2 
into a decimal. The denominator of the fraction is 2. To know the number of tenths involved, multiply and divide the fraction by 5. Thus, the new fraction is 15 upon 10. So, we have 1 and 5 one tenths, which make it 1.5. Another way to convert such fractions is to simply divide the numerator by the denominator. One part in 100 equal parts is called 100. Each small square is called 100th of the whole square. In decimal notation, we read it as 0 0.01. 12 shaded square will make 12 hundredths or 0 0.12. 33 shaded squares will make 33 hundredths or 0 0.33. 52 shaded squares will make 52 hundredths or 0 0.52. Now concentrate on the table and let us read decimals from it. Look at the first row. 40 plus 5 tenths plus 3 hundredths will make 40.53. Now focus on the second row. 4 hundredths plus 3 tenths plus 2 ones plus 6 tenths and 8 hundredths will make 432.68. Now pay attention to the third row. 7 hundredths plus 8 tenths plus 5 hundredths will make 780.05. We can extend the place value table further from hundred to thousands. Let us test our understanding by solving some questions. Write 800 plus 60 plus 9 plus 3 tenths plus 8 hundredths plus 4 thousands as a decimal. 800 plus 60 plus 9 is 869. 3 tenths plus 8 hundredths plus 4 thousandths is 0.3 plus 0 0.08 plus 0 0.004, which adds up to 0 0.384. So the answer is 869.384. Let us solve one more question. Write 473 and 4 hundredths as a decimal. In this number, 473 is the whole part. The decimal part is 400, which can be written as 0 0.04. So the number is 473.04. Decimals with the same number of decimal places are called like decimals. And decimals with different number of decimal places are called unlike decimals. In order to compare decimals, convert unlike decimals into like decimals. This can be accomplished by annexing trailing zeros to the number that has a shorter decimal part. Annexing zeros in the end will not make any difference to the value of the decimal. Compare 0 0.05 with 0 0.1. We can write 0 0.1 as 0 0.10 because there are two decimal places in 0 0.05. Now it is easy to tell that 0 0.10 is greater as it represents 10 hundredths, whereas 0 0.05 represents 5 hundredths. Compare the three numbers 542.5, 542.56, five 542.561. All three numbers have same whole number part, but their decimal parts are different. Convert all unlike decimals into like decimals by adding zeros at the end. The numbers now will be 542.500, 542.560, and 542.561.
Now concentrate on the decimal part alone. The first number represents 500 thousands. Second number represents 560 thousands. And the third number represents 561 thousand. So, 542.561 is greater than 542.5 and 542.56. Similarly, 542.56 is greater than 542.5. Thus, 542.561 is greater than 542.56, which is greater than 542.5. It is time to check your understanding. Drag and drop the correct options in the respective boxes. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. If we divide a block into 10 equal parts, each part represents 1 tenth. 1 tenth can be written as 0 0.1 in decimal notation. Every fraction with denominator 10 can be written in decimal notation. If we divide a block into 100 equal parts, each part represents 100. 100 can be written as 0 0.01 in decimal notation. Every fraction with denominator 100 can be written in decimal notation. All decimals can be represented on a number line. Every decimal can be written as a fraction and vice versa. Any two decimals can be compared among themselves.